to me, it just felt like the whole show's foundation just crumbled. And that's why I said, the floodgates are opened, the dam broke, what is gonna happen now? It's breaking back. We're back. We're with, we're here doing the review for Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 9, Fun and Games, that just came out today. Or if you're watching this, yesterday. Um, and, oh my gosh, this was a good episode. Mm -hmm. I was kind of blown away by how good it was coming off such a good episode. As Better Call Saul tends to not do that too often. And very impressed with it. Me too. Me too. I thought um, things would be slower. And so with it being slower, I thought not much would happen. Just like seeing the aftermath and like people adjusting after all that's happened and stuff. But still lots of like big things, at least in my opinion, happened. Yes. And I'm really excited to be able to give it our score and be able to get into that second half podcast so we can actually go over some of these points because there's a lot of them. Um, and just for the viewer, since this is only our third one, I want to give you the quick rundown again. Our first half will be non-spoiler um, where we give our scores. And then the second half will be the longer, more podcast feel where we'll go over the spoilers. Um, so right now, let's just give some thoughts, initial thoughts and reactions to the episode um, without the spoilers. So, coming straight off it, like I said, it surprised me. Um, not in the beginning of the episode, as it did start a little slower. You know, not too not too quick. Um, just kind of slowly showing us, as Better Call Saul does, with long, drawn-out scenes showing you um, the way they want you to feel about the characters. And then, more towards the end... You know, quick in that quick first quarter, there was a part that I really enjoyed, and in the end, um, really, really hot. Yeah. I'm excited to talk about that. Uh huh. That's the only word I can use. Hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> and um, and that was my initial reaction. Just surprised. Me too. Just that I wasn't expecting it, and I was like, "Wow, that was good too." Because I wasn't expecting to love this episode as much, just based off what I was thinking was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's my surprise, and like, now I'm even more eager to see the next episode on what's gonna happen then. Oh, exactly. They they really have opened up. Without going into detail, they've really opened up the doors. The floodgates have been opened to where next episode, whatever they want to do, they can do it. And yeah, I feel at a loss because at the end we're also gonna be giving our predictions. And I'm at a loss for what I'm going to predict. Um, but because those floodgates are opened. And it's <laughs> awesome. It's a great feeling. I'm really excited. Um, so let's get straight into our quick description of the episode. And then we'll give our reviews. Okay. So what we wrote was, This episode brings closure to past episodes of the season, representing an aftermath of such events. It ends with a shocking twist that crumbles the foundation of the show, but in a good way. Very good way. Mm. Yeah. You have any thoughts on on the our bio? No, I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Keeps it vague. Yep. But a little something, something. A little something, something. <laughs> um, so for the midnight release score, we're actually going to give this a ninety-four out of a hundred. Um, it was a little back and forth between ninety-four up to ninety-six, but yeah. ninety-four feels right for this one. And then our entertainment score was actually higher at 97 percent out of 100 mm -hmm. um i just you know as, as a as a better call saul fanatic and breaking bad fan um breaking bad fanatic as well um <laughs> i feel like my entertainment tends to be higher than what i am willing to give the episode and this one was that way i just i i ate it all up um and then lastly we are the michelin star of the entertainment industry and just a reminder we do not give stars for episodes we only give it to full shows seasons so at the end of the season we will give a star uh give mm -hmm. the stars accordingly if the, if it deserves it um which i think it might <laughs> it probably will <laughs> um so do you have any uh thoughts on the scores i think i was just surprised thinking about what we wanted to give the entertainment score and how it was higher than last episode yeah because in my mind i was well, like well quick for a recap our last score 
which I, I, I could see people and fans actually giving the last episode higher in both regards. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see, because we gave the last one a 90 score with an entertainment of 92 uh, or 92. 94. Yeah. Yep. So we, we gave both higher, actually, in this one. Yes. And I thought it would be like, oh, it's not going to be as intense. The yeah. stakes aren't super high, so it's just not going to be as enjoyable. But I'm just surprised that I found it more enjoyable. Yeah. Much higher. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of it has to do with these two points I'm going to bring up right now. The first one is whenever an episode tends to be extremely linear, it tends to um, make me fall out a little bit. Just a little bit. Because um, the last episode was linear in terms of it was just one story going through the entire time with no split offs. Um, not that it's a bad thing. It just I enjoyed this type of episode better. And then the last episode was I felt like there's only three real plot points that happened, and the whole thing was being pulled by the ending uh, scene. Mm-hmm. So, but this one I was enjoying every part. They were all explaining and giving detail into the background of the stories, and then. The ending was, like I said, the in, the in the bio, the shocking twist that crumbles the foundation of the freaking show, but in a good way. And that it's that in itself um, made the episode better. Just that one scene. Yeah. No, that, oh. that, 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 yeah, yeah. that montage or whatever, the whole thing. Um, that, it's, that by itself, better. Love it. Did not expect it. Never would have guessed that. Even though... Mm-hmm. Maybe I did guess it. And we're going to go over <laughs> last week's episodes, uh, what we predicted, because I was kind of on point. So, yeah, there's th- those are our reviews. Uh, thanks for watching this first half. And our link will be right here if you want to watch the full podcast. Thank you for watching.